welcome to this channel on today's tutorial i'll be taking us on on json and api usage so if you are creating an android application or uh, you are creating an online rather an online android application that is using internet access you must have heard about api or json so what is an api an api is an is application programming interface that is communication just like in java we have interfaces so interfaces in java or android as the case may be as android depends on java and kotlin as the standard programming languages for making app so interfaces are used for communication between classes or activities so for instance main activity is a class but because it extends activity so that what makes main activity an activity so to communicate with main activity and another activity we can use interface that is why we have this on response or response is an interface is an is a method inside an interface so inside the interface we had the library have on response and on error response so that is by the way just in a javascript object notation so we are going to be seeing the usages of json as you can see there is a sample app that totally depends on json and api that is communication with a web server that the data is in form of a json so all these data appears in json so all of them are based in json all the data available here are json like even some ads network they use json to paste data to receive ads some app you mainly apps use json not only online app so json that can be used for saving data for online and offline purposes using google json which is a recommended library for android and java so all these use json to paste data so how can we we are going to be doing the same in schedule so on this tutorial we're going to be reading we're going to be reading data from an online server so in json we have nested data and we have normal data we have busy data we have nested data we have nested 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 so the next thing is unlimited you can nest data to up to 100 so depending on your choice so i'm going to show us an example of nested and a basic data so first of all i'm going to show the simple basic data in array list so it can be paste using array list hash map that is in sketch record list map and so on so a sample of a list of a basic json data So this, this is a sample of basic JSON data. This is a sample of basic and nested. Why is it called nested? That is before you can get to one, you first of all have to get to the first. So by default, if I add this data to a Google, Google JSON, if I add the data to Google JSON, let's say i read i read that five parts i read that five parts it will return the content if i do this it will return all these contents into gc so if i read this data into list map I can be able to get auto i can be able to get auto slug date added date modified but i cannot be able to get wisdom trying to get wisdom will crash there because wisdom is a nested data so before i can be able to get wisdom i have to first of all get tax and to, if i get tax then i will now pass tax to another 
object type so in order not to get confused we are going to be pasting an online data a nested data from an online database this is my list view i've created a custom view called cus you can name yours anything so i added my own bind i'm going to connect the views to each other then i added my own bind custom view you can do it by clicking this this button here then selecting custom view on buying custom view so i'm going to be getting i'm going to paste the data and get all the value that have this key called editable so let's look at the data from the website is so this is a random website i saw on facebook and i'm going to paste paste it in my schedule application you can also paste it in your ios application you can also paste it in your website so that is why JSON comes in an API. It can be used to communicate across different applications, not only Android apps, any app at all. So the web server has a, a key called editable until. So I'm going to be pasting it. But before I can be able to get to this editable until, I have to first go through comments. So before I even get all this data, the first thing I do is add a button for connecting to the website because you have to first of all connect to the website before you can be able to so we add a button and when button is clicked we are going to connect to the website using a request network block i want to use a request network block to create a request network we are going to come to component and add requests click on request network and name your variable as anything i name mine as our eq so as it has already been added, you cannot add again. So I'm going to add this block start network. We are going to use the method get because we are getting data. But if you want to write data, you write. If you want to add data, you put put. If you want to delete data, you put delete. This is the URL. So now it will be loading. So when the data has, when we have, our app has connected to the website, this is called. But if it fails to connect to the website due to no data, your, your device does not have data, you're not connected to a network, you're not connected to a Wi-Fi, or your network is bad, on response, on error network will be called. So now when the data, the, the server will be connected, note that connecting to the server does not mean that the data is available, it just means your website has connected. So that's why we add this try catch. So in case the data just return empty you just connect to the website but the website is saying currently not available then this will save us of all the stress if not the application will crash that's why i added this yellow block so please don't try to move it trying to move it will cause error we are going to add this yellow block to try catch in case the data is not exactly in this format the data needs to be exactly in that format if it's not exactly in this format then if it's not exactly in that format, we are going to toast the error message. Why is it not in that format? Because we expect it to be in that format. So what really went wrong is the website server down. Have they blocked it? Have they make it a private? So to do that, we are going to call e dot to string e dot to string. This will get give us the reason. We can use it in a text view. You can use it in a test view like this or we can toast it so depending on our usage so if there is something went wrong why is the data not like that that is what will happen so we are going to first of all this is our underscore response this underscore response is exactly this block so sketch where i'm going to show us Sketch write underscore response. Write the response. The response that has underscore response. So you can see this underscore response. I just did that to let us understand why did I put underscore response here. So this is JSON. JSON is a list, is a string that we hold the data received from our website. Just created a string called JSON. 
so now we are going to pass this data to a json object because the first data here is a is a bracket is a curly bracket so as it's a curly bracket curly bracket means hash map not that it means but it can be placed as hash map or a map so passing this kind of data if the data starts with curly bracket and you pass it to a list string or a list map the app will crash so if the data starts in this format if the website data starts in the format that means you should pass it to a list string or a list map how do we know it's a list map or a list string okay if the data is like this and starts with this and has data like this and like this and like this then is a list map but if this is not here then it's a hash map but if this and this is here then this and this these are the data is then it is a list string so please take note of this part it's very important you don't skip this part so you have to crash so that is it so after doing that, we're going to pass the data, the JSON string to a list map. Go about the data, the value for comments. Comments, as you can see, comments start with list map. So like the example I gave us, comments start with list map. So we're going to pass comments to list map. Because it can be paste as a list map. So our adapter as a set, we are usually able to set our list view adapter to so we'll pass our list map to our list view. So now we have a key called editable until. As you can see, there is something called editable until there. You can see here there is something called editable until. So we are going to get all the value of editable until. Why am I not getting the others? The others are can also be gotten the others can also be gotten so you can change it to thread you can change it to norms report you can change it to likes you can change it to message id created but you change it to auto auto is another data on its own so if you change this key you change this key to auto you have a crash why is that because it's a nested data as i told us you can have nested data nested 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 so to be able to get the auto we are going to pass this data to a list map so that one we actually even cause is another topic is a topic for another day so focusing on editable until we are going to compile our app and the output is going to be as shown below so the output will be as shown below so like i say we are going to first of all connect to the website so the website is connected and it has been connected as you can see it has gotten us all the value of editable until i will be sharing this tutorial project on sketchly you can download the project and understand more by reading through the sample and comparing it with the video it will go a long way if you are a freelancer or whatever part of programming you want to go api is very recommended for every developer to have a basic knowledge and i'll be taking you on it if you have any question please comment share and subscribe to this video thanks for watching